Hi everybody, Poppy Linux World here and welcome to today's video and today I'm having a look at the latest release of Pingai OS Mini 14.04. This is built and based of course on Ubuntu 14.04 long term support. Now all I've done to this is added a couple of programs so I can do this screencast. I've not actually <coughs> altered hardly anything at all on it. And I just want to say, um, out the, the the bat, straight off the get-go, this for me is the operating system that Pingai should have always come out with. It's a very light, um, it comes with a very limited set of applications. You then add the applications that you want to use on a daily basis. Um, it's absolutely terrific. I cannot sing the praises of this operating system enough. You've got all the hardware compatibility of Ubuntu and all the stylish and innovative add-ons and plugins of Ping iOS. Absolutely perfect. This is running on the Toshiba Satellite Pro laptop so it may be a little bit slow as it's using a very very old Intel Celeron processor and you'll see the processors flat out most of the time but nevertheless the installation itself was flawless um, and it does actually for a very very old laptop it runs fine really sweet as a nut certainly a lot better than what Windows XP would run so let's have a look around the desktop you get a lovely conky display on the top and a massive up to ping guy for this conky display because it just works you don't need to do any configuration boot up it automatically starts if you're connected to the internet it will pull um, your weather data down automatically you're not going to faff and mess about putting in your local area it will just automatically decide where you are in the world and do that and it's a very very nice display again you've got up speed down speed on the network a cpu monitor and your main process monitor um, it's using the kernel 313 um, 24 which is very nice and up to date indeed this is the i686 version it's not the 64 bit to the left hand side you have shortcuts to all your main directories which you would use on a daily basis via a little dock bar and then you have docky at the bottom which is a shortcut to your main applications and again as you can see I've installed a couple of bits and pieces myself and customized it uh, slightly uh, top right you have the standard sort of gnome 3 type bar and that you have a login logout monitor you have a sound monitor network monitor date and time calendar which is very very nice you have a language monitor an update monitor I'm not sure if that's the we build desktop background changer or not because I've not looked at it and then you have a desktop monitor as well and then on the left hand side we have uh, access to your main menu and for some reason this is being a plum and it's now crashed <laughs> which I have to say it doesn't usually um, why it's been a plum I have no idea on the right hand side as you can see you've got a choice of your desktops which you can switch between you can show your applications in this way in typical GNOME 3 fashion or you can access them via this rather cool looking menu most frequently used you can see all your different um, applications that's installed there you go I have to say very very nice job indeed by ping iOS um, as I say it works absolutely beautifully uh, and yeah I have to say very very impressive right okay so um, we access that just by pressing the Windows key which is the GNOME 3 desktop as I say you can just select this menu at the top as well and then you can sort it either via information or by larger icons uh, let's have a quick look at what it comes supplied with accessories you get backups docky files gedit uh, uh, gnome do shutter menu edit and an image viewer again under graphics you get an image viewer and simple scan internet you get firefox and team viewer other you get a conky editor and you also get personal file sharing sound and video you get filebot gook view and vlc sundry you get deconf editor and ice t 
you get all the normal stuff you'd expect to see in system settings and again under system tools universal access you get an onboard on screen keyboard very very nice and then under utilities you get an archive manager calculator character map discs pdf reader um, a tweak tool terminal and help and as i say you can click on recent you can click on web you can click on favorites you can change the style with which it looks at so yeah very very i have to say fantastic i like it very very much indeed comes with as i say a nice simple set of applications installed if you then want to install stuff yourself you have of course the fabulous synaptic package manager which is <clears throat> you know absolutely more than capable of delivering pretty much any package that you want to install now this is built and based on ubuntu 14.04 i don't think it's widely and freely available until this thursday um, to the mass public but i have to say already i would give it a 10 out of 10. very very simple and easy to use fast secure absolutely beautiful on really hold on on really old hardware so i'm sure it's going to be just as good on newer hardware so there you go everybody that's a nice quick look round the latest version of ping 14.04 mini because this is his mini distribution not the full-blown distribution that he would normally release for me personally 10 out of 10 i could quite happily use this operating system on an everyday basis now just one other cool little thing i want to show you firefox web browser <clears throat> and this is one of the things that separates ping guy from other distributions when you very very first boot up firefox on the very first time it will automatically download and install microsoft silverlight and a whole ton of other plugins and add-ons which is really cool so it's all set up for you so your netflix should work out the box no more to do you don't need to install anything update anything download anything it should just work out the box so <clears throat> you've got add blocker pro installed out the box um, you've got show your bookmarks you've also got shareaholic which is pretty cool you've got a straightforward uh, download manager and you've also got another download helper here so if you go to something like YouTube you can download videos straight the way off of YouTube now ping OS is your search engine but of course you can select any search engine that you want you don't have to use the ping OS one it's entirely up to you but let's just very quickly try Netflix because I do want to bring this review to a close but I have to say I am indeed very very impressed with this operating system from ping absolutely spot on that all seems to work um, absolutely beautiful <coughs> I think it's going to want me to sign in isn't it I don't think it's just going to let me view the screens etc but nevertheless I'm confident that will probably work straight out the box is your Microsoft Silverlight uh, plugin is installed the very very first time you run your Firefox so there you go everybody uh, that's ping Eye OS 1404 mini thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe thumb the videos up i will see you for another wicked puppy linux distro video